you guys. Um, sorry my voice might be a little low. It's like 7 a.m. and I just woke up. But yesterday I got the doll that I have been waiting for. Yes, truly me, number 55. Now, um, I know I've made a big fuss about the classic mold. I, so in order to, um, minimize my collection and not go overboard with it because I really don't have the money in this space to be buying a bunch of dolls like I want to so I was like okay I'm just going to get one doll of each face mold and I was actually considering not getting a classic face mold doll at all because I just never like the classic face mold like it's so overused so boring and I prefer the um pre be forever face mold like the one in the early 2010s or something not the 90s one those were very creepy but not the new one either but this doll i saw her in the store when i was getting the paris outfit and i was like oh my god this is like the only classic mold doll that i've ever liked period and i didn't even know she existed until i was watching one of Lynn Life's video and this doll was in the intro and I was like oh my god this doll is so pretty and she's a classic mold like what and um yeah so I discovered she was truly me number 55 and every single person who has her recommends her like they're obsessed with her and like I've seen pictures and videos of her I saw her in the store and I was like okay if I get a classic mold I'm gonna have to get this girl and here she is so I just took her hair out of the hairnet and it's so shiny. Oh my god. Now here's the thing. I was a bit hesitant in getting her because I actually never had a doll with these eyes before. I usually get the one with the like lines in them. And uh, I never um, bought a doll with green eyes. So, um... Yeah, um, and they have this new eyes where they make the green a bit darker and I really don't like it because when I first started collecting, I actually wanted Truly Me number 79 because she looked like Kanani and I really liked Kanani. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll get 79 because I believe she's supposed to be like, okay, usually when they retire a doll, like a girl of the year or a historical, they'll come out with a Truly Me doll that looks just like them. I was like, okay, well, I don't mind the shorter hair, but when I saw pictures of them, I could easily tell them apart. Like, easily. Not not just because of the hair, like, because of their face. They don't even look the same. And I realized, oh my god, her eyes are, like, way darker than Kanani's, and I don't like it. <laughs> and apparently, these are the new eyes, and I don't like how dark they are. I prefer the lighter ones. Um, but actually, Truly Me number 55 really pulls it off. I don't mind it at all on her. So, yeah. And, um, I've been, I was uh, thinking of a name for her. So, first I was going to name her Ruby, because, I don't know, she just looks like a Ruby to me. But now that I have her in person, I want to name her Bella, because, okay, she doesn't look like Kristen Stewart per se, but she just gives me, like, Twilight vibes. Like... I don't know. Like, when I look at her, I think of Twilight Bella. I don't know. So, yeah. So, she has dark green eyes, freckles, and kind of like a chocolate brown hair. And uh, it's about waist length. And it has, like, little loose, very loose curls in it. And she's so cute. Now, this outfit is so not cute. I, this is my least favorite Truly Me outfit. Um, I actually tried to order the version of the Truly Me's where they have the blue outfit. That outfit isn't cute either, but I prefer it over this one. But that was um, the previous version, so most of the Truly Me's, they're out of stock in that outfit. So this was all I got. And you guys, this is actually the very first doll that I ordered from the American Girl online store. Usually I go to the store. But, um, I just didn't have anyone to take me. So, I ended up ordering online for the Valentine's Day sale. They were like, oh, if you spend over $100, you'll get a $20 coupon in the future. 
So hopefully today I can go to the store and get an outfit for Bella. And uh, also, in order to get free shipping, you have to spend over $135. So I got this. Um, I've been like, first of all, when I first saw this outfit, I've been really like into it. And I'm like, you know, okay, because when I saw it in the store, it wasn't really all that. And so I was like, oh, I don't think I want it. I don't think I'm going to get it. But like, I don't know. Something just told me to get it. So I got it. It's Joss Kendrick's jumper. And I see a lot of dolls on Instagram with this outfit. And it's so cute. And um, this isn't the outfit that I wanted to put in Bella. I wanted to um, buy Courtney's jeans, t-shirt, and sneakers and put it on Bella. So I kind of wanted Bella to be like my 80s doll because I'm not very satisfied with how Courtney looks. I like Courtney's curly hair, but that's about it. Her face is as boring as freaking Samantha Parkington, okay? Just boring, and I just could not get over that. And it really sucks because Courtney's collection is like probably my favorite out of the historicals. Ooh, that's a big, that's, that's a big thing to say. Okay, well, it's definitely one of my top three favorites I really like the collection and I thought um she would look good in that outfit because um if you watch um Lynn Life's videos around October because I believe 55 was in the Halloween intro she had like a t-shirt and Courtney's jeans on and I was like oh my god that looks so good on her I would have never been creative to like put that outfit together that's really cute but today um well yesterday actually they just came out with Courtney's workout outfit so I actually really like it and I think I might buy that for Bella Ooh, I don't know but okay so I'm gonna put Bella in Jess's jumper and see how that looks on her I will be right back okay so here is Bella in the outfit I actually think she looks really good in this outfit this is kind of like that outfit that like any doll can look good in like I feel like if you don't know what outfit to pick for your doll you should like definitely go with this one because like literally nobody looks bad in it like at all so it's just this cute little like jean jumper that's like a coral color like it's made out of the material you'd like wear like on jeans or like your pants or whatever and this shirt it's actually separate I don't know why, but I thought it was attached to the uh, jumper, but it's actually not. It's its own separate shirt, and the shirt goes down to the waist, and it's just like a plain white shirt under. Like, it doesn't have any design on it, but the jumper has the word waves for days on it, and so to get it on, you unbutton the sides, and then on the back, there's like Velcro, uh, Velcro straps, so yeah. Um, it's a bit, well, I don't want to say difficult to put on, but it's a bit extra to put on. And then the shoes are just these, uh, kind of hided, uh, tiny shoes with, like, rainbows on the back, which I think is actually pretty cute. But her meat outfit, it's this star dress, these sparkly pink, um, vans. I like that they're made out of, like, the actual shoe material, that's cool. And this, uh hot pink bomber jacket which honestly I really do like this jacket I like that they added this jacket it's it's actually pretty cute but um I prefer like you know what actually this this jacket would look good in this color like a more like purple violet color but yeah so um oh by the way the jumper it cost $28 and I kind of have this rule that when I'm buying an American Girl outfit, I don't spend more than $30 on it unless I have a coupon. And um, because I do have um, the World Traveler in France outfit that I bought um, a couple of weeks ago for Grace Thomas. And that was only because I had a $10 coupon. And so instead of the outfit being $36, it was $26. So with tax, it was $28. So yeah, um, but hopefully um, today I, you know, find a good outfit and spend my coupon because I have a $10 coupon and a $20 coupon and Courtney's workout outfit is $32. So hey, maybe if I like it, I'll get that one. But if not, I might get something else. Um, 
Yeah, I'm really trying to stay strong and not use the $30 coupon to get a new doll. I just got a new one. I need to relax, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, like going to the store, it's so hard to resist. Like, gosh, I love going there. It is awesome. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to show in this video. And if you're thinking about getting a classic mold or truly me or just a new doll in general and you don't have number 55, I recommend her along with everybody else because she is perfect oh my god like literally i can't i can't i can't with this doll she's so she's so pretty and um uh, her hair is just so shiny and so like curly and nice and oh my god she's so cute but yeah so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one which should be very soon if things go well at the store today so um yeah bye guys